Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Baba, please come. Somebody said, shout Jesus. 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 Papa, I was supposed to minister to you yesterday. But I couldn't because of time. The Lord Jesus said to tell you that the yoke upon you is breaking. I didn't hear your amen louder cry. Are we tired? Hey. The Lord said the yokes upon you are breaking. The Lord said the oil was for the breaking of the yoke and the burden that was upon you. In the realm of the spirit, I inquired of the Lord. And there was an arrow that was released. The arrow was to cause you to be mentally disabled. In fact, you were supposed to be hearing voices. And they actually wanted you mad. They wanted you mad. They wanted you mad. Because in the realm of the spirit, I've walked into a gathering of witches. And as I walked into the gathering of witches, they were talking about you. In fact, last year last year they wanted somebody to die in your family and when the people of the family went together that actually are spiritually inclined when they gathered and decided on who to sacrifice it was you that your name came up. And I saw they were connecting to somebody here. I saw in the realm of the spirit, I saw three people that they were connecting. And these people were spiritually inclined. These people took the work and they said would help you guys execute what you want to do and so I saw the witches in Ghana giving the assignment to certain witches three of them here in the US and one of them is actually a woman in fact two are women one is a man and one of the women you are you are you have had something to do with a woman do you have do you have kids What had actually preserved you is the prayers of your sister. Because whenever they strike your sister, I see that angels will be released by her prayer and the angels will surround you and they would rescue you. 
but I saw they release an attack and the attack started from your, your, your head but I saw it somehow got to your spine and I saw the attack this is how I am seeing it it was supposed to cause you to speak like can I be speaking you'll be talking you'll be talking but at the same time they wanted that thing that they released against your mind to actually cause your spine to be disabled and for you not to be able to walk and at the same time as you are very not able to walk you have to be speaking as if you are mad and then on top of it they gave you a time slot for this disgrace to actually go on in your life and then after you have been disgraced and brought low you have to be taken out of the land of the living but I saw somebody that you have helped before by name Emmanuel whom you worked with whom you worked with I saw the hand You see, the same way they killed, is it a brother or something? Somebody died. How many were you guys? How many are still alive? Three. One died. Mm -hmm. The same way they killed that one is the same way they wanted to kill you. Because that one's life was cut short. He did not die a normal death. Because it wasn't normal for you to be sacked from that work. No. It was an assignment of the enemy. It was given to somebody with a name with E. I'm not saying it's Emmanuel. But it was given to somebody with a name with E. I'm talking in Proverbs. And the person there orchestrated that thing. And you were moved but before you were moved the thing had already been triggered the arrow had been already been triggered had been released against you and you were experiencing the symptom right and they moved you out of the place yes so as they moved you out of the place they were sending you to go die because the the hope of the enemy was not for you to work as they sacked you and sacked you just for you to be in the room for everything that they released against you to actually take full effect in your body and for you to die but whilst you came to your sister in that place the prayers that were being offered actually saved you because i saw a mighty angel of god that was released and the angel came to you and when the angel came i saw the angel began to actually minister to you and i saw your body and your mind and your 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 blood was being ministered to and the lord said what has been done outside of kumasi it's not okay let me say this it's like you guys are not from Kumasi. You are away from Kumasi. But one of those people that is actually doing you, that is part of the issue, is from Kumasi. is fee fee or coffee or something you are coffee clap for the lord (laughs) 
I'm, I'm trying to diagnose something. There is a woman. I see two women involved. And a man. The man's name is E. Okay. But the other woman. I see her carrying a daughter. I see her with a daughter. I don't know how many kids she has. Okay. But I see her holding the hand of a daughter. And it looks as if she's actually talking to you. And it's, she's part of it. How many kids did you have with your ex? Three. Three. Okay. Okay. How many boys? One, One boy and two girls. Okay. 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 There is a woman I'm seeing. The woman is just holding a hand of a lady, a, a woman, like a girl. And she's talking to you. But this woman is close. 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 A girl. A girl. And it's very close. And this woman is a Ghanaian. This woman is a Ghanaian. So you were Mensa? Yes. You were Mensa? Okay. okay. Okay, listen. The Lord said. What was set in motion will not succeed. What they set their hands to do will not be a sacrificial lamp. The Lord Jesus said that your recommitment to him had kindled a fire around you that your pursuers cannot touch you any longer. You are about to be taken out. Yeah, you are about to be taken out. And I see as I'm standing with you. I see the three witches living. And the Lord said not only that. But you are going to be getting a job. Okay. Because there was a time, it's, it's like you didn't want it to work again. You just don't want, it's like you are fed up of all the things that are happening around you. But the Lord said, not only is he going to deliver you, but he's going to give you a better job. Have you ever worked with cars before? Or around cars before? work with cars not fitting no, I, um, my actual work is uh -huh. maintenance mechanic Mech oh okay uh -huh. yeah I'm, I'm trying to figure out what okay because I'm like okay it's funny this is how I saw it I was just seeing like he's entering into a place but it, it was like I'm seeing cars I'm seeing cars and like machines like that. So I didn't know how to interpret it. That's why I was trying to figure a way to ask the right way. You know? Yeah. But the Lord said, what is in your hand will not be taken away from you. And that you shall be preserved. Because it was your time to be favored and for you to have enjoyed the fruit of your labor. But the enemy wanted to actually stop you. But the Lord said today, you will be restored. And the arrow that was sent shall be broken. And the Lord said he shall bring you to the fullness of what he purposed for you. The Lord said yesterday the deliverance started. But every sickness 
in your body is being taken back to the senders. And the Lord said he shall preserve you and he shall protect you and give you long life. The Lord said, tell your sister, who is a nurse, right? Is, uh, is it works with nurse, nursing? Yes. Okay. That he is going to give her if, he stays, if she stays obedient. I am seeing a practice of her own. Like her own something that he will begin. She will begin to do. And she will, he will prosper her in that thing. The Lord said because of her faithfulness to the things that he's committed to her, she's, he's going to be increasing her and he's going to bless her. And so I see her being breaking out of the family case. And I see by the reason of that, I see her being favored by people around. And I'm seeing people actually holding her hands and actually giving her avenues to make money in that field and I saw her putting up her own stuff and I saw she became very very wealthy the Lord said the curse upon your family is being broken tonight I didn't hear your amen louder if you shout your amen louder the Lord is breaking your own curse as well Papa you will not have stroke you will not have any mental issues. You will sleep and sleep. You will sleep and sleep like a baby. From today as I lay my hands on you, I said every affliction and everything that were orchestrated against you by the pit of hell shall break loose in the name of Jesus. Loose your hand now in the name of Jesus. From today, by the wings of the Lord, he is covered. I take him from your claws. I detach him from that altar. In somewhere in Wenchi. I detach him from it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And from today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I preserve his life, his destiny. And I unlock doors of breakthrough and miracles unto him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap for Jesus. It is done, Papa. As I lift you up, you are entering to your newness. From today, money will smell on you. Nobody, when they throw the arrow, it will go back to them. In the name of Jesus. You are, uh, you are favored. You are favored. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap for the Lord Jesus. Ah. Uh, Whilst I was talking to her sister, eh? Do you guys know anybody who is a nurse? She's a nurse. Her sister. Where is she? In Ghana. Ah, whilst I was talking to her, her sister, 